Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many React developers encounter. Our viewer is using the React DateTime library and wants to know how to capture the selected date and save it into their component state. Let's dive into the details of this challenge and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To get the selected date using React date time, we need to modify the handle date method. The issue arises because the onChange event from React date time does not provide an event object like traditional input elements. Instead of using eTarget value, we can directly use the date object passed to the handle date method. Let's update the handle date method accordingly. Now let's see how to implement this in your component. Make sure to pass the handle date method correctly to the date time component. With these changes, when a user selects a date, it will be saved in the date state and you can access it as needed. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get the selected date using React DateTime, first import the DateTime component. In your React class, initialize the state to hold the date and time. Create a change date function to log and format the selected date, updating the state accordingly. Similarly, create a change time function to handle the time selection. Finally, render two datetime components, one for date and one for time, linking them to their respective change functions. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To get the selected date from a moment object in React date time, use the dot to date method. Avoid using internal properties like D as they can lead to inaccuracies. Remember, moment.js uses epoch shifting, which can cause internal properties to differ from the actual date value. This is especially true when using moment time zone. For more details on using Moment.js correctly, check out the Moment.js guide linked in the description. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.